Are you guys ready? Ooh, I mean, most of you guys probably already know what she does, obviously, but I always try to keep these as surprises to myself, so I honestly don't really know too much about Ruler Scotty, so I am extremely excited, not only for the gameplay, but also for the art side, so um, let's do this. Like, honestly, I already like Ascension 1 a lot. It's kind of giving me vibes of Mashu's second summer outfit, which had like this, I don't know what to call it, those, it's like frills on top of the actual swimsuit. I think Mashu had like the same thing, which honestly, I've, I, I really liked, so. Also, oh my god, my saber pieces. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's check out the first Ascension. Okay, I might need to get some. Mm. What do we got? Mm. Glasses! glasses with a ponytail okay yes keep smiling more i didn't like caster because she never really smiled that much let's go let's get some positive expressions so already dude this one is also really nice oh my oh the legs as well oh i'm such a simple man to please all right here we go ascension three the final actual normal outfit come on all right haven't seen this one do they immediately just look bigger or am i going crazy i mean come on what is this outfit it's not even a swimsuit it's full-on lingerie is what it is <laughs> this is like bedroom stuff oh my god they really know how to appease for the coomers man oh my god dude i i honestly i have to say i actually for once like all three ascensions we're gonna have a summer style FA, so I'm expecting a, quite a bit of fan service, but I will welcome it, okay? And please do not disappoint. Please do not disappoint. I it's summers, I wanna see fan service, okay? <laughs> oh, oh. What is that under boobage? Oh my god. I'm not even someone that's really into midriff, but that's clean. That looks nice, okay? Oh my. Okay. Also, feet! Oh my god, oh my god, calm down. All right. I like ponytails. I love glasses, but this one doesn't have feet. It was so close to the ultimate fan service moment for me. I am very, very pleasantly surprised about summer ibuki and scotty especially when i wasn't even a big ibuki fan so big thumbs up for these two summer servants aesthetically from me i very much approve okay now let's take a look at gameplay side which i'm equally interested in oh my god and you know that's real when there's feet on the table as well so yeah, uh, stats are fairly standard for a ruler. I honestly don't even really know if she's supposed to be like a DPS or a support yet, but yeah, it's pretty much on par for the course, aka high HP attack, a bit on the lower side for an SSR, but yeah, um, very much on par for like a ruler. Magic Rest EX. Good start, really good. I'm not, I'm not surprised though, because a lot of rulers actually have this, so yeah, makes sense. Territory creation A, very high, but the, oh yeah, what is her card type actually? Quick, okay, and then... Whoa, there's only one arts card in her normal deck? Whoa, okay. So it's double buster, double quick with a quick MP. Interesting. So I guess the territory creation A is actually not that amazing then. Then we have Goddess's Core. Okay, so more debuff res. And also a bit of divinity on top, which again, no one cares about. But the, yeah, so on base, you have the godly combo of 50% debuff res. That's amazing for bosses, needless to say. Besides that, that's it for the passives. So it's very defensive oriented. Because even the card type doesn't match her main. Now the MP. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't really know anything. It's like opening a Christmas present in the morning. Oof. It's when you are in a water field, you get MP damage for one turn, which scales with overcharge. And then you do damage to... Is that uh, lawful or neutral? I'm so bad with alignments. A l which also scales with overcharge wow double oc it's lawful okay lawful damage and then oh it's an aoe drain it better be 100 percent base they would not make a non-100 percent aoe a drain right it has to be 100 percent yeah it's a guaranteed thank god okay love it it's the only normal effect the aoe drain but guaranteed aoe drain is so good now the numbers though water side base 
10% MP damage for one turn before damage. Not amazing. And again, it's only MP damage. It doesn't even help her follow-up card. So I want to say average-ish at best. And then the Lawful is not just a flat 150. It starts with 150% on OC base. Which is good, because again, a lot of these are just normal effects with flat 150. So if you do happen to get OC more, then again, you can just get more. So it's just nice that it's OC instead of normal effect. And it's a 6 hitter MP, huh? Pretty damn good for AoE, huh? So I'm expecting her to be looping, huh? <laughs> uh, MP itself looks great. I do love that guaranteed AoE drain. Not groundbreaking, but a good MP for sure. Okay, okay, we got a quick icon, okay? So that's a good start regarding the MP, because she is a damage dealer now. Is this the same as normal, Scotty? Yeah, targeted, quick up for three turns. Yeah, so that's the same. And then, whoa, it's different. It's buster crit damage for three turns. So it's mostly the same. Quick is still 50%. And then buster crit is 100%, which is the same as the quick run one, right? So it's near identical. The only difference is that it's buster crit damage instead of uh, quick crit damage. Maybe it would still be better if it was quick uh, crit damage still. I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess it's not bad. It's just a fairly standard skill, which is probably mandatory for her to also loop because it's a lot of quick up as well, huh? Yeah. Then we got a sword icon. Uh, all allies attack up three turns and quick up three turns. So it's another quick up. Okay. And then also Buster up for three turns. And then self stars per turn every turn for three turns. Whoa, that's an amazing like quad effect. Although it's a seven turn cooldown. So let's see the numbers. 20% attack up. Ooh, the Buster and Quick are 15%, huh? Mmm. And the stars per turn is 15 though. Whoa, that is really good. Okay, here's the thing. That stars per turn... Definitely legit, but honestly, with a 7 turn cooldown, I feel like they could have made 20% for the AoE buster and quick as well. Because it's a 7 turn cooldown. But I still think it's a nice skill, for sure. And yeah, combined with the first skill, she herself, or someone, because she can also give it to someone else, can get up to 65% quick up. Which is more than OG Scotty. Which, again, at this is I haven't even seen anything else yet, but um, it could lead to some interesting scenarios of her being a legit support as well not just the damage dealer for sure that's what it looks like no battery though <laughs> i guess i spoke too soon okay we do have a battery icon so is this tar is if this is a 50 percent targeted as well is this just a straight up scotty upgrade then for looping as well it is targeted okay mm -hmm. and then buster star absorb for one turn and a star bomb okay is this 50 percent it is are you kidding me wait a minute are you kidding me Wait, are you kidding me? They just power crept OG Scotty with Scotty 2.0, just gave 15% more quick up. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Also, the other numbers uh, 5k Buster Absorb up for three turns. S Wait, wiki says three turns, but the skill says one turn. Okay, the wiki is just incorrect. Three turns would be nuts. That's a big downtime, by the way. It's a seven turn cooldown for one turn of Absorb, but at least for that one turn. Whoever you target will always get all the stars in their buster cards. And then it's a 15 star bomb. So this is an interest. I don't now I'm getting some mixed feelings here, okay? So first of all, I'll be taking a look at the spreadsheet as well, because apparently Jord has updated it in terms of her probably some supporting capabilities and her own looping as well. But again, first of all, I want to say I have mixed feelings about this. Because seemingly as a loop support, she's just a straight up upgrade for OG Scotty, right? So I don't know how to feel about this, because OG Scotty obviously cannot function as a DPS as well. I mean, if you want to make your memes a uh, reality, go ahead, but let's be real. At least th this one also has a legit DPS option, whereas OG Scotty does not. And even after the MP buff to OG Scotty, in my opinion, she was still never like an amazing support for like challenge quests. Mostly just used for like uh, quick looping. Anyway, let's take a look at the spreadsheet, I think. So R stands for ruler Scotty, huh? So let's see, what kind of a difference are we looking at? Just for, This is from supporting side, first of all. Oh, because the defense down is uh, awkward for farming, right? Yes. And you get that attack up instead. Yes, it makes yes, it makes sense. Wow, oh god, this is even worse than for OG Scotty. Oh god. Oh no, oh no, OG Scotty, oh no. I honestly, now I'm starting to feel maybe they're gonna buff OG Scotty again sooner than later. This can't stay like this, right? Because the first two waves, it's a massive difference. For a lot of these, it's a, it's a big difference. 
Like, it's meaningful. They can't make the better option better in every way. There's hardly any reason to pick OG Scotty now. Ay ay ay. Anyway, do you have her numbers here for DPSing? Wait, she can't. Can she not run bl Black Grail like Karen can? If that's the case, then Karen will easily be much better. Doesn't work at neutral as far as you know. Really? Because, keep in mind, Karen also has an MP upgrade, right? I still feel like, even with like a. Uh, let's say if she needs like a. Um, plug suit as well i feel like karen would still do better right as a farmer karen has more battery because of her skill yeah very true very true these are now completely new setups that weren't even possible with og scotty either improving old ones that could loop before or just probably including new ones that could never loop to begin with oh, oh my oh my quick black grail looping that's a big thing for sure being able to do a full-on black grail looping now from uh, some of these and those are some legit numbers as well and some of them can even lo loop on 2-2x uh, format wow that's good man this is gonna be a lot to digest and this video probably will be long as well but yeah this is this is crazy stuff okay I'm, I'm honestly happy that Quick is doing better now. It's still not going to be like groundbreaking revolutionary stuff. I feel like Arts and Buster still fare better in most cases. But the key part here is that I am sad because of OG Scotty. And I hope that they give her something now soon. Because this doesn't make any sense. They shouldn't make the one that can also DPS loop be able to do supporting better in for loop farm. It just doesn't make sense, okay? Okay, I'll just leave it at that for the first impression, okay? So, um, final thoughts here. First of all, aesthetically, I am more than pleased. I am very happy with it. She is extremely attractive, and I'm very much more interested in Scotty now. Way more than I was before. Same with Ibuki as well. And then the gameplay side. First of all, she seems like she can do a bit of looping herself. I feel like maybe boss DPSing will be more relevant for her than loop farming, especially if you have Karen. And most of all, I feel bad for OG Scotty because there, it, it doesn't make sense that she does loop supporting better than an actual full-on support Scotty does. So hopefully they give her something as well soon. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, this is probably one of the longest first impressions I've done, even without combat here, but yeah, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button. Who knows, maybe there's gonna be a woo impressions as well at some point if I do eventually get her. If not, oh well, so be it. I got the jackpot anyway, so I'm not too mad. Good luck if you're rolling, and uh, yeah, hopefully see you on other future videos as well. Alright, a peace out.